Hi, pipe smokers. Yeah. My name is Paul Gilson, and this is Paul Gilson's YouTube channel, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy. That's me. Yeah. And uh, today is Thursday, January 26th, 2023. And I know that because Miss January told me it was. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's payday. Yeah. So we're going to do a tobacco review for you. And uh, actually, this is a tobacco that I purchased a while back. And uh, it's one of my, uh, what I call, nautical tobaccos. All right. So, in other words, when I say nautical, all right, um, you know, like naval blends or whatever, I don't know. You got Captain Earl's 10 Russians, all right, involved ships and maritime stuff, nautical stuff. Uh, you've got uh, Blockade Runner, all right, that's part of my nautical collection. And you've got uh, Captain Earl's Night Watch. That's another one of my nautical blends, as I refer to it. But the one uh, that we're going to review today, and um, I may do uh, a series on all of the nautical blends that I own. Uh, the one we're going to do is uh, for you this evening is uh, Cornell and Deal's Black Frigate. Yeah, Cornell and Deal Black Frigate. And actually, what I did is uh, I purchased this uh, back on 719 of 2021. So we're talking uh, about 1.5 years ago. I bought this tin, all right, uh, of Black Frigate by Cornell and Deal. And the born on date on this is 215 of 2021 so it was put in the tin almost two years ago and what I did is when I opened it up all right before I discovered uh, you know uh, the way I store things in uh, you know Ziploc bags uh, basically what I did is I parked it right in this little mason jar ball mason jar you can see right there, it says Black Frigate, 719 of 2021. So that's where it's been aging forever. And I haven't smoked this in a long, long time. Um, so I wanted to do a review on it. Uh, let's read what the tin has to say, okay? Uh, it says, uh, Latakia and Turkish are added to our blockade runner Navy Cavendish. Virginia's soaked and aged in rum. Mm. And I do believe that until 1976, I think, that the Royal Naval, uh, the Royal Navy was issued one point of rum per day. Yeah. I think that ended in 1976. Uh... So, uh, let's start over again. Latakia and Turkish are added to our blockade runner, Navy Cavendish, Virginia's soaked and aged in rum mm, to produce a, a true Royal Navy blend. Pressed, pressed and cut into crumble, into old fashioned crumble cake. Cornell and Dale. Yeah, my mouth isn't working right. Anyways, that's what the tin says. Now, uh, after doing some research on it, on the Cornell and Deal Black Frigate, yeah, I love this blunt, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's uh, right now currently selling, uh, it's on sale, uh, I believe on pipes and cigars for $11.90 plus uh, tax and shipping for a two ounce tin. Uh, it is also available in an eight ounce tin. The country of origin is the United States of America. 
Um, it's blunted by uh, Craig Tarler. Yeah, that would be Craig Tarler. And it's ma manufactured by Cornell and Deal. And uh, uh, like I said, it has Black Cavendish, Latakia, Oriental slash Turkish. The flavoring is rum. Uh, the cut is crumble cake. And the family is English. Um, so out of 55 reviews, out of four stars, it was rated 3.1 out of four. Uh, 20 reviewers gave it four stars. And 25 reviews gave it three out of four stars. So that means that 45 out of 55 reviews gave it three stars or better out of four stars. And then we have um, eight reviews that gave it two stars and two reviews that gave it one star. Uh, the strength uh, supposedly is medium and flavoring is mild to medium. The taste is medium to full and the room note, which this kills me, it's tolerable. Tolerable. Anyway, so um, I'm going to open this up. This hasn't been uh, actually. I just opened it up to smell it, but when I opened it up about five minutes ago, all right, out of this ball mason jar. Actually, it hadn't been opened in probably easily a year. I had to peel the top off of it, and there you go. It's crumble cake. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can smell that rum. Oh, oh, that rum smells so good. It almost has like a fruity smell to it, too, a little bit. I don't know if that would be the black Cavendish and the rum mixing. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pause the video. I'll be back in a nanosecond, and uh, we're going to uh, rub some of this out, and then we're going to smoke it. We're going to set something on fire. Yeah, I love to do that. She likes it, too. Oh, she likes it hot. We'll be right back in a nanosecond. Alrighty, pipe smokers, I told you we'd be back in a nanosecond. So uh, now we're going to set something on fire. Yeah. So uh, like I was sharing with you before, we are reviewing Cornell and Deal's Black Frigate. Look at that tin art. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. An old Navy ship. Yeah. So. Uh, what we're actually going to uh, smoke this out of and uh, I'm doing uh, this for uh, Mark Hill because uh, he wanted to know where Brian Kelnet's pipes were from and uh, the last pipe review we did I believe we used this Brian Kelnet's pipe um, so we have this is my second Brian Kelnet's pipe and I bought this because it looks like the briar almost looks like Jesus Christ there. All right. You can almost see a figure there. I mean, you can see it. Not so good on the video, but it looks like Christ. And uh, so it has two panels. All right. And then uh, it's a little bit rusticated. And then on the bottom, it says... Uh, handmade by B. Kelnitz right there. All right. And this is a 200 year old briar, is all they use. So, yeah, that's my second Brian Kelnitz pipe. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah. No, honey, not as beautiful as you, but, you know, Miss January behind me. Yeah. So, let's start something on fire. Yeah, here we go. I already did the char light. Mm. Oh.
instant gratification. I love rum infused Latakia. brain is processing it's smooth but it's definitely full flavored I agree with the reviews that the strength is medium I agree with the review. The taste is medium to full. The room note that they said was tolerable. I don't know, what do you think, Miss January? She likes it. <laughs> I can taste the Latakia. Oh, I love it. And make sure with crumble cake, you take your time rubbing it out. Balance is just unbelievable. This would be a great morning smoke or an awesome evening smoke. I would not consider this an all day smoke. I'm not feeling any tongue bite or anything like that, but Craig Tarler, you did a fantastic job on this blend. If I had four thumbs, you'd get four thumbs up. Uh, out of a reading uh, on, <clears throat> that I saw uh, 55 reviews, it received a 3.1 out of 4. I would definitely give this a 3.5 all day long. Be a great morning smoke, a great smoke before bed, and maybe even, and I've never thrown this in there, it would be a great smoke after lunch. But because it's, you know, the strength is medium and, the, and you know, uh, the taste is medium to full, it, everybody's tastes are different. Uh, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't smoke that all day, but I would smoke it in the morning. I would smoke it after lunch, and I would definitely smoke it uh, after dinner, and I would definitely smoke it before bed. Like I was saying, I, I would give that, I, I think I said a 3.5. Excellent, excellent blend. I love it. She does too. She says, room note, she can't understand, and she's blonde. All right, like me. Well, I used to be blonder, now I'm getting gray. But um, she says that the room note, she doesn't understand tolerable either. I don't know. <sighs> Do you know how to tell if a blonde makes a mistake on a computer when typing something? Because there's white out all over the screen. Do you know how a blonde turns on a light 
after having sexual intercourse. She opens the car door. <laughs> All right, that's as far as I'm going to go with blonde jokes, and I'm blonde. Well, I used to be a towhead, but whatever. Well, we're going on 15 minutes, almost 16 minutes here. Uh, I want to thank each and every uh, one of my subscribers for your comments and for watching. Uh, I love doing these videos. You know, I, it's a hobby of mine. I, I don't, like I said before, I don't do drugs. I, I don't even smoke marijuana. I don't go out to bars anymore, although in the 80s and 90s, I was notorious. You know, back in the Miami Vice days, you know, on that TV show. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I could tell you some stories, but I won't. I don't even tell my kids those stories. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, if you like my channel, hit the little subscribe button. Hit the bell button for reminders. Come out with videos all the time. Tomorrow is Friday Night Blues. I hope that uh, I did this tobacco review justice. I threw in a lot of extra stuff that burned up a lot of extra time, but hopefully you thought it was funny. I don't know. Maybe not. If you didn't, oh well. I don't care. It's my channel, not yours. Uh, anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Thank you so much for watching, and stand by because we are going to have a Brad the Bearded Piper impersonation. I've been thinking about that day in and day out. Ah, he's going to love it. His wife's going to be like, who are these people in the YouTube pipe community that would do such a thing? <laughs> and he'll be laughing. I love all you guys. Oh, yeah. Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy, over and out. <laughs> and love one another. Doesn't cost anything to be kind. Thanks for watching.